just like this, except he had a little chip in him. <laughs> oh, I have the release forms that you sent over. Do you need them now before my husband gets home? No, it's fine, ma'am. You can send them after we're done. <laughs> my prince will be here very soon. So all this is for him? Wow. We have been living ever after for four years now, ever since the day he swept me off my feet. <laughs> and since he successfully got a promotion at work, well, I thought he deserved an extra special tweet. <laughs> so I got him a princess tea party. <laughs> he must be one lucky guy. Did you choose these particular princesses for him? Well, we've done Beauty and the Beast before, so this time I wanted to be Cinderella. But to reward him for being a big, strong man, I thought we'd invite Belle. And then I always thought that the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So I invited Princess Elisa to tea as well. The only black princess Disney ever got right. Princess Elisa was Disney's second attempt at a black princess. You know, typical Disney bullshit. Evil stepmom who transformed her 11 brothers into swans. And the only way to save them was by knitting sweaters out of flowers. Oh, and she wasn't allowed to speak the whole time. Just another case of women needing to be seen instead of heard. Exactly. The only black princess that Disney ever got right. Excuse me? Who's <laughs> I'm home. Uh, who are these people? Bonjour. I got them for you, my big CFO with his big rays and even bigger penis. I thought you deserved a princess tea party. Oh, I'll go put the costume on that I got for you. It's on the bed with the script. Please. Follow it exactly. Mm -hmm. I love you. How did I get so lucky, huh? <laughs> when you wish upon a star, I wished upon a star. <sighs> Does one of you have a problem? You know, I have tiny, dainty ears, but I can still hear. If you don't stick to character, oh, I will yelp you so hard that no other Ever After member will ever use your services ever again! No, no, Cinderella, no problem. No, uh, Princess Elisa just had a sweater flower caught in her throat. That's right, a sweater flower. <coughs> oh, okay. But please remember, Princess Elisa, that you're not allowed to speak until you finish knitting that sweater. Otherwise, your 11 hunky brothers will remain swans. Did you girls read the script? I do love to read. It is so lovely that the beast let you, let you join us today, Belle. Well, yes, he's been in such a beastly mood lately. I needed a break. And I've been talking to all the furniture lately. It's nice to talk to some real humans. Because everyone's just been so wooden. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I've got some wood for you later. No! That is not in the script. Why can't you follow a simple script, Russell? Ooh, your mother was so right about you. Cinderella! Cinderella, <sighs> you didn't tell us. How you've been charming that I bet it was magical. It was. She was magical. It was the most perfect J date ever. <laughs> well, we went to my favorite restaurant in Murray Hill, and it turns out he's in the brother fraternity to my sister sorority. <laughs> and then he took me to Frozen on Broadway. <sighs> Can you believe it's been running for 18 years now? Let it go. What is it, my darling? Uh, I just remembered that Idina Menzel lost her beautiful singing voice when that horse kicked her in the throat. I will 
never understand why her and Hillary swank got in that fight. Cinderella, Cinderella, why don't you show Charming what's inside your box? My box? Oh, my box! <laughs> Sweetums, I got you an extra special present. Oh, uh, uh. oh, my dearest, you shouldn't have. It's magical. It's supposed to show you your one true desire. Is this a glass dildo? Gee, <laughs> there's three of us here. I guess you'll have to fit it in each one to see who's your true princess. And it will be my honor to try and try again. We only have another hour. Hi ho! Hi <laughs> ho! Off to work we go. <laughs> and she looked at me and said, "If you don't like my cooking, get your dick out of my pig." <laughs> I didn't know you knew my mom. <laughs> You're welcome. What? I carried you through that entire call. I couldn't fucking speak because that idiot lives in a fantasy world. Oh. We sell fucking fantasy. Literally. <laughs> oh, hey, Charlie. Good, you're back. <laughs> you know, I've taken into consideration your requests, and uh, I think Donald and I have worked out a mu mutually beneficial deal. I want you to come join my production company, make a series of fetish videos. Of course, you're going to have to come stay with me, as the production schedule will be very demanding. <laughs> but, of course, you will still be property of Pamela's dolls, and listed on the website, available for any calls as they come in. And of course, we'll list you at a premium rate. Now that you're a porn star and all. <laughs> Wait, so, so Charlie is leaving? When were you gonna tell me this was happening? <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> but don't you worry about it, son. It's not like you had a say in what was happening anyhow. Charlie, is this what you want? Now you care about what I want? I have nothing left to say to you. Let's go. Let's go before he starts crying. <laughs> Where's Charlie going? <laughs>